watching The Jenny Lynn Show, and today I've got a great topic for you. I'm sure that you or someone you know have tried internet dating. And so today my panel of experienced guests are going to share their fascinating experiences of internet dating with you. So guys, thank you for coming to my show. My guests are Mr. John Vink. John, thank you. Thank you. Lauren Garland and Renee Mendoza. Hi. Thanks guys for taking the time out to come and tell us about your wonderful experiences on internet dating. I think I'm gonna start with the rose among you two thorns. Lauren, you wanna <laughs> tell us about your experience? Like, you could tell us the site if you feel like, and, yeah. and what was your most memorable experience so far from, yeah. this, ex from this medium of meeting people? Okay, yeah. Um, so I've been on a couple different sites, I think over the past maybe four years. Um, and I think going into it, I thought I would probably have a lot of crazy experiences. Um, but for the most part, people were pretty, pretty normal. But I definitely did have a couple experiences that um, yeah, were kind of interesting. So Good. We're going to come back to you, Renee. Okay. So my only experience with online dating, which I still don't know why I'm on this panel with it, <laughs> was that 10 years ago, I tried uh, Match.com. So I was 18 at the time. And uh, my friends told me that they had rejected. And I'm like, that's not true. I'm like, so I tried it. And I put through all the questions, as honest as I could, like, we can't match you now. And then we got, said, we got the alert saying that two thirds of, of, of uh, no, 30%, I'm sorry, can't be matched at the time. So I'm like, okay. Was that because of your age? I don't know. But I'm guessing that's what it was. Huh. Uh, all right, know, we're going to come back to you, John. <laughs> yes. You tell us about yours. I mean, have you tried all the sites? And... No, no. Okay. Um, someone, someone else had set up a match.com profile for me. Okay. So I wasn't wholehearted into that. And then I tried a, a dating site called Tinder. And so I've tried those two, two Okay. Sites. So we're going to come back to you in a minute. And you can tell us the differences between the two sites, which one you think worked for you if any did, but think about it while uh, I go back to Lauren. Mm. So Lauren, mm. you said you were on Match.com. Yeah, um, I did um, Match, um, OkCupid, and Tinder. Okay, Yeah. so two of those you are free, right? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then one you have to pay. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you compare mm -hmm. the site that you have to pay versus mm -hmm. the free sites? Um, that's a really good question. I think the ones that you have to pay for. Um, I think you get a lot more people who are a lot more serious about meeting someone. Um, and I think on the other two sites that are free, it's people are more kind of like, oh, you know, what the hell, let me just try it out. And um, I don't think it's, I don't think that people are looking for their soulmates. I think it's more for um, Mr. or Mrs. right now. So rather than forever. <laughs> so it's true what they say, then you get what you pay for. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Okay. Did you ever meet anybody on any of these sites that ended up resulting in a serious relationship? Um, no. Okay. No. Yeah. All right. So, John. Yes. How long were you on Match.com? Um, so, someone else set up the account <laughs> for free, but then I get all these emails saying, someone's interested in you or something. But in order to see anything or receive emails, you have to like pay this exorbitant fee. Um, so I, will, I just signed up for the shortest amount possible, like that, three months. Okay, so somebody signed you up. Was it with your permission? No. So tell <laughs> us about that then. I'm, I'm just at work one day and Match.com starts sending me an email saying someone's <laughs> interested in you. And I thought it was spam. I kept on getting the same emails over and over again, like what's this all about? And so I click on what appears to be link and I see my profile. I don't have the password for it because it's, I didn't set it up so I can see myself on Mets.com. And um, it's a very, like, angry description. Angry description? Like, I know, like, who I'm looking for. I don't want any gold diggers. I only want <laughs> women who have their own money. <laughs> and no, we and I want. value my money. I'll spend money, but I don't want to spend a lot of it and waste it. <laughs> so it sounded really bad. So I'm surprised I was getting... You know, people are interested in you at clicks. Well, obviously, the person who set you up was trying to protect you. Protect me from ever getting a date. Well, yes. yes. 
<laughs> okay, yes. hold on. We're coming back to you. So, Renee, you were going to say something just mm -hmm. now. No. You, so you got rejected. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you got rejected right up front. Yeah. And that, so you know what I did? Now that you mentioned Tinder, okay, Cupid, I did try those two, but it was just yeah. kind of like, like you said, it's kind of it's, yeah. it's it's kind of a more carnal than than more carnal. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. It's just more primitive, I guess. Not like, yeah. not like a lifelong partner, it's kind of just... Yeah, like okay. you said, they're looking right. for different things. Yeah. Okay, so why mm -hmm. don't you describe to me how that one works? Because apparently they all, they, ha they have different structures. Well, Tinder is you swipe left or swipe right. Swipe right if you're interested or not interested. Well, it's one of those. Uh, yeah. One of those. Okay. Okay, right, right yeah. is to be interested. Yeah. And okay, Cupid, you have to ask a lot of questions. You have to answer questions and then they match you with... Your answers, I guess, or mm -hmm. your interests. So yeah. even though it's free, someone goes through the time of trying to match you with people? Yeah. I wonder how they make their money. It's probably a computer or something. Yeah, it's matching. a computer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Type. Yeah. So when you went on to OkCupid, okay did you wake up and get an email like John was getting saying someone is interested in yeah, you? Yeah, but you also have to get, you need to pay for those too, don't you? I, for? OkCupid? Okay I don't no? think so. Mm -mm. Maybe we're just not doing it right then. <laughs> See, you should go back on. You never know. Do you have a girlfriend now? No. Okay, so then, hey, go fork up the account. <laughs> you may have a list of people waiting for you, right? Uh -huh. So, Lauren, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. try Tinder? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. how, does, how, does, how does Tinder work? Tell us. Um, Tinder works. I think it's probably the easiest one out of them all in the yeah. sense that you literally just put up, like, you know, however photos you want, and then you put like a little blurb about, um, you know, what you want to say about yourself, and then basically you're done. And then um, you can search people based on distance and based on age and um, based on, I think, yeah, I think that's about it. So, um, so yeah, you kind of set those limits, and then you basically just go through pictures. I think it's a really, it's probably the quickest one. How long have you been on there? Um, on and off, maybe for about a year. Did you ever meet anybody that was interesting? Um, yeah, I mean, I have met people that I've gone on more than one date with, um, but nothing that was serious, like one year or anything like that. So did you mm. think that the people you met on there misrepresented themselves, or do you think that they were honest? That's a good question. Um, I feel like for the most part, people were pretty honest. I okay. think that was probably the thing that shocked me the most with online dating, was that I expected to meet people and they were going to be completely different, and for the most part, they... On the surface, they seem to be who they were, but who knows? So, John, you tell yeah. us: Have you met anybody on there that you've gone out with? Uh, on Match, I didn't meet anybody. Uh, I was on Tinder as well. And? And so, um, I met a girl who I've been on dates with. Okay. Yeah. Did she misrepresent herself? No. Okay. I. She's had pictures. There's no blurb. Okay. And the pictures were of her. So I've been doing my own background for preparing in preparation for this show. And which one of you on this panel can explain the roses and what that means if someone tells you they need roses? It's code for money, yeah. simply put. It's so, a code for money. Did so you ever I was, get... Well, here on, on Tinder, I, I had a lot a problem a lot. Where Say you, Tinder is you, you see pictures of people yeah. and you just click yes or no mm -hmm. uh, on them. And if they click, if you click yes and they click yes as well, it's a match and you can start having a conversation. So I found out early on that most of the ladies who I matched with would respond with, hey, if you want the girlfriend experience, it costs 50 roses per hour. <laughs> so <Translate>. clearly <laughs> they're using euphemisms with the girlfriend experience means they are prostitute and 50 roses per hour is like the rate. And I, I don't know what the conversion rate is. Yeah. I don't know if it's $1 per rose or $10 per rose, but it's, it's money. Is that why you never said yes? Because you didn't know what the cost really was? <laughs> um, I'm assuming you No, never that was said. not the, the reason. Oh, my God. I was looking for, you know, a freebie. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that kind of look sounded like the wrong answer. I was not looking for that kind of oh. relationship. Okay. <laughs> okay. Looking for a non-payment, you know, ongoing relationship. I see, got you. Of mm -hmm. mutual respect and understanding and affection. Did you have <laughs> anybody proposition you with roses for the 
No, okay. no, they didn't. And I just want to be clear that not every woman is asking for roses okay, on these great. sites. No, no, so I'm um, sure not I definitely don't ask for roses or anything, any monetary value. That's or why you are here to represent the female. Yeah, gender. no, there's some classy people on these sites. <laughs> That's great. So, John, you seem to attract the business women. Is um, that? I don't think it's that I attract them. I think business women just go on the site, click yes to every single man. And to every match they get, they just respond that way. They're just, you know, marketing. What percentage of people that you let, you clicked on were those types of women? So, on Tinder, it's in this area of Silicon Valley we're in. The genders are not balanced properly, so there's a lot more guys than ladies here. So, uh, it's a numbers game. So I have to go and click yes on many, many, many ladies. And let's say, you know, one in 30 will click back. <laughs> and of those, you know, one half to three quarters are asking for money. So, yeah. And then of the ones that do, so once they do have a match, and let's say they're not prostitutes, then I can send them a message. And I say, hello there, I'm John, how are you? And then I never hear back ever again from most of those. <laughs> Why do you think that is? I think I'm sending the wrong message somehow. Okay. Or so, there, no, I think hmm. that the women are inundated with responses because uh -huh. of the, the gender no inequality. Yeah. So a lady will get like, she'll click, every guy she clicks yes on, I imagine is a match. And so she can get like 10 emails in an hour and she's inundated with, with responses. So then she has to be very choosy who responds to. Yeah. I guess I'm not choosy enough. I'm not choicey enough. <laughs> So Lauren, <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> thanks John, mm -hmm. you are going to, do you really believe that you will meet somebody that you will have a significant relationship with on, through this mm -hmm. medium of dating? Um, you know, method? I feel like my feeling on that probably changes every day. Um, sometimes I, I don't know, I go through, I call them on and off seasons. So on my on seasons, I'll, you know, go on dates and I kind of get in that energy and kind of get into that pattern and then I'm kind of like, oh no, like I'm done with it. I'm just gonna, I don't think I can meet anyone. So I, I don't, I'm still kind of trying to figure out if you really can meet someone serious on these type of sites. But you know what, my friends have met people and have had serious relationships, so. And I've been told they've, they've, they've had quite a few marriages off of internet dating. I, I know mm -hmm. at least two or three people who have friends that have gotten married and they met their mm -hmm. spouses on the internet. In fact, I have a friend who's from um, South Africa, and mm. she married somebody from San Francisco, and she met him wow. online. So I guess with everything, it, some things work for some people, and it doesn't work for others. Mm. Renee, do you think after this show you're going to sign up again? No. Why not? Uh -huh. no, I'm not in looking right now for anyone. Okay. kind of looking at myself. Okay. So. But when you're ready? When it happens. If it happens. Something is in your life, you have to work to make them happen, right? Sure. Yeah. Yes. So do you have any friends who've had any stories they've shared with you about internet dating that was kind of nightmarish? Um, i trying to think. I mean, I've had um, my friends actually say that they've met people or they have thought they they're going into a situation and they think they're going to meet this one person and um, the person is considerably older and so they they use pictures that are from 20 years ago mm -hmm. so they're definitely not um i guess yeah they're not really who they're promoting themselves to be All right um so yeah that's definitely i think the age thing um lying about age is kind of a huge thing um yeah have you ever gone on a date mm. with someone and then when you showed up you're looking mm. for somebody else mm. because this person was one of those people um, that, no, not okay. for me personally. Okay. But, yeah. Well, you're quite young, so I would imagine yeah. in your age group mm. there won't be anybody looking yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean, but it has happened, though, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. John, what about you? What about me? Have you met anybody on there that you thought might be misrepresenting themselves? Apart from the Roses people? I've only actually <laughs> met one person in person. Okay. okay. And that person looked like they looked like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what what do you, what have you done with the women who propositioned you with roses? Oh. How did you respond to them? Um, I do two things. 
Um, I respond to them saying, I'm not interested in a business transaction. <laughs> and then <laughs> on Tinder, you can report someone as mm -hmm. spam. Mm -hmm. And so I report them as spam. Why spam? Well, that's the only option they have. If they oh. had a prostitute option, I'd pick that. Okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's, you know, they're selling stuff. Right, and that's right. kind of like spam, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, when we were growing up, you could go to, there were so many places you could go to meet people. And it's so funny because we're living in the most advanced part of the world where all the technology is happening. What do you think's gone wrong with society now that people have to, like, everybody is saying this is the only way you're going to meet people if you want to meet people. It's either this or you go to a nightclub. What do you mm -hmm. think shifted? John, I'm going to ask you this because you're older than these guys. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come back to you. Um, I, I have a hard time meeting people, I think, because uh, I don't drink. So to go to a bar to find someone who's drinking, you know, would be a really good way to go. Mm -hmm. Going to dance clubs, um, it's too loud. You can't talk to anybody. Um, I like going to coffee shops. But it's, women send me a vibe of, Please never talk to me. <laughs> I get the impression that all women would wish men never talked to them again and just left them alone. Maybe it's just me, because when I talk to them, they get all annoyed. <laughs> Renee, is that true for you? Do you get uh, that vibe from women? Sometimes, it depends. Yeah. If I'm drunk or not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, no, it just depends oh on the gosh. person. Um, yeah, right. I've had girls' conversations with girls I met that day, just about whatever. And some girls just like, we completely ignore you, so it's just, I don't know what it's, maybe technology's with all the social networks, we're all being so, it's all about me, 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 and it's not about the collective, I guess, of people. I think part of the problem is everybody's face is buried in a cell phone, so yeah. they don't even get to see who's around them, right? It's very What's true. the female perspective on that question? Um, well, I think for me personally, I mean, I, I mean, once I turned 21, I mean, I was going to, you know, bars, clubs, out with my friends, and um, I think in those environments, you kind of tend to meet one type of guy. Um, and so I think uh, online dating... what's that dating, type, if you don't mind? Um, I think the type that's looking for more short-term mm -hmm. um, and is, I mean, out and about all the time meeting all different types of women. So, um, so I think online dating is just kind of a different medium. And I think you can kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit less than of the nightclub scene where... Um, I think you meet a more range of people mm -hmm. looking for different things. Because, so. because they have all the details on the mm -hmm. website. Yeah, of who they are and everything. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, Renee, you said you tried the other two sites very briefly. Mm -hmm. Of the two of them, which one you thought was a better mechanism for this? I think OkCupid, okay, the one with all the questions. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's the one because you're honest. You, you, just, and then they match you to... Maybe people who have similar views, so like, okay, that's, you're being honest to yourself and not the whole, I'm changing myself so that I can impress this one person, or and Tinder just so, just physically, do I find this person attractive or not? So the picture I'm getting is with Tinder, you go to the site, and you see a picture, and if you like it, you click yes or no. It's an application. Okay. I, mean, I don't know if it's... It's and an iPhone if, or, or app. Yeah. So you can only do it on your iPhone. You can't do it on an iPad or a computer. Maybe. Uh, not a yeah, computer, maybe. but you can do it on an iPad or an iPhone yeah, you need a or an Android account. phone. Okay. Okay. So you go to the site and you see a picture and you're like, oh, this person's really cute. And you click yes or you click no. And they, and if you say you like them, but they, they don't say they like you, that's a lost opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you go back and look up a person? No. It's yeah. gone. Yeah. They're so, gone forever. Wow. Forever. So you have one yeah. moment. One to chance. To, and that's it. And don't use your chance. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So... How is that different from OkCupid then? You, you fill out the questionnaires and they match you and then you get the notice telling you that you and this person have something in common? Kind of like that. They just kind of say, but then you're, there's, was it 80 percent, stuff like that of, of, of compatibility. Okay. But you can also meet people that you don't have really good percent matches with also. So, I mean, it's not like you have to go off matches. Yeah. So you can yeah. go and look for people. Yeah, you can go look for people, And yeah. you can go, oh, this guy's really cute, and you can yeah. write to him. Yes. Okay. And the same thing, vice versa. John, yeah. Match.com, tell us. Can you just go randomly looking for women and yeah. go, this well, woman's you can, really hot? You can do a search saying, I'm searching for someone like this, 
like this age range and these things. And you can make that search as wide as you want mm -hmm. or as narrow as you want. Yeah. And then you find one you like you and then what like happens? You, you click on it, you say, I like, you can like them, like, like a photo of theirs. You can wink at them or you can send them a message. Mm -hmm. How long and did you say you, stay on, you stayed on for? Only for like three months. Boy, some people must have really have loved you to to go, gone through that process of getting you... <laughs> they might have loved me oh, or they want to torture me. <laughs> I, it's unclear. <laughs> mm. Well, based on the experience, which one would you say? I don't know. That, that profile <laughs> they put up for me seemed pretty, pretty harsh. Why? Well, because... But don't it's very you... angry, like, do not respond to me because I don't want to spend my money on you. <laughs> it actually said that? <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm assuming a reader would look at that and say, this guy doesn't want to spend any money on me, and he's telling me to my face. Why? <laughs> Did it say he doesn't like to spend money in the That's profile? That's what it said, yeah. I don't like wasting money. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, had to, I had to alter the profile after a while, because that's clearly not working out. So I changed it. I said, I love traveling to France for no reason. I love, <laughs> you know, expensive dinners. So I, like, I flipped it around. And what happened after that? Nah, nothing. <laughs> They say the first impression is when you get, you get one chance to make a first impression. Maybe you blew yeah. it when they put the wrong profile for you. Maybe someone else blew it for me. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant to that's say. Okay. Yeah. So Lauren, <laughs> yeah. how would you ever try any other sites apart from the ones that you've tried? Um, just yeah, so you ahead. know, two days ago yeah. on the news, I saw, mm -hmm. I've been paying attention to this because I was doing the show. Mm -hmm. On Good Morning America, they introduced a new show. I think it's called Hinged. And mm -hmm. it's where college kids introduce each other's friends mm -hmm. to their friends. And mm -hmm. a lot of people are connecting this way because it's within the same age group. And mm -hmm. they're not total strangers because somebody you know knows of them. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about this? I think I actually have heard about that. Yeah. Maybe you should yeah. try that. Yeah, maybe. Um, I think maybe once I think about maybe looking for someone again. But um, for now, I think I'm just going to stick to... What, what I've you done. have. Yeah, what I have. <laughs> and you, Renee, don't you think that would be a good site for you? Because it won't be like a complete stranger because somebody you know knows something about them. So if they have weird tendencies, like wanting to hatch your head off, cut your head <laughs> off with a hatchet or something, you will know this up front and you'll know this is somebody to avoid. I don't know. I, I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Well, about a month ago, I was in San Francisco and I was in a, in a, in a restroom. And I heard two young girls outside talking about, I can't believe how hard it is to meet guys. It mm -hmm. sucks, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I couldn't wait to come out to the stall to see these girls. And they were about your age. I'm like, am I hearing right? <laughs> these are young girls in the city of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. What do you think has gone wrong with this world that mm -hmm. young girls your age are having? I mean, I was no... Miss America, but when I was that age, I had more dates than you could shake a stick at. What mm. happened? Um, I think just in the age that we live in and also in this area, I feel like people are very business-minded. It's like business, business, go, mm -hmm. go, go. Mm -hmm. So I don't think necessarily people think of finding someone or like serious dating as like number one priority, right, really. Right. And maybe before it used to be more kind of I think a lot of people are in their computers and in their own zone than they used to be. It's true, right, John? Yeah. You're an there. engineer. I am an engineer. You speak on behalf mm -hmm. of the sector of engineers that <laughs> you work with. Do they seem like they're diligently looking for, for women to hang out with? Um, well, some are. Some mm -hmm. aren't. Do you yeah. know if they're also on the dating websites? I don't know of any else, anyone else on the dating websites. Oh, I knew one guy who was on the dating website, and he found, I don't know if it's on the website he found a girl, but he has a girlfriend now. Oh, well, it'd be interesting to know if he found her on the, the, the website. Yes. Maybe you should start a company, John, where you can organize for all these engineers you work with and, and somehow round up a bunch of women that are age appropriate and just help to set them up. Start if parties. I knew how to round up women, <laughs> I wouldn't have to be on dating sites. <laughs> well, I have had an idea a long time ago. So if you're watching this show, maybe somebody should start this. I think what people need to do is either have a barbecue or a party or something, and the rule would be if you are single, you can only come to the party if you're bringing another person with you who's single that you are not dating. Hmm. Chances are, within all the people at this party, at least two people 
might connect. And if two people connect, it's brilliant, right? You got a match. And I think well, that's what people need to start doing because granted you can go on the internet and post all this stuff, but people misrepresent themselves like you said. Mm -hmm. And when I was looking to do this show, I went on a friend's site to check it out and I noticed people post pictures of themselves with the dates, mm -hmm. but they cut off the year. And mm -hmm. for me, if I see a picture like that, clearly that person is not being honest mm -hmm. and that picture is probably from high school. So we're out of time, but before we go, I'm going to ask each of you to leave a message with somebody out there doing internet dating really quick mm -hmm. on what they should avoid or not based on your experience. You, you go, John. Um, so be prepared not to meet anybody. <laughs> 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 Lauren, they're clapping in there. Um, Lauren. Uh, I would say just be yourself because at the end of the day, people are going to find out who you really are anyway. So just be yourself. And you don't have a lot of experience, Renee, but you, I'm sure you have your two cents you can add to this. Uh, no, but it goes back to what you said about people not fighting someone today. Isn't that always a thing, though? There's always, it's always a generational thing. Like Each age group never has... I don't know. It, when it happens, it happens. Don't we'll force it, I think. So we're out of time. Thank you for watching The Jenny Lynn Show. If you're someone that's looking to meet people, hopefully what these young people have shared on this show today will help to guide you. And don't give up. There are lots of different ways. And just get creative. And have a great day. And thank you for watching this show. Bye-bye.